YouTube, what's going on? We are back here with a new horse racing game I found on uh, Steam. I'm not sure if it's extremely childish. Like, and I mean, when I say childish, I just mean not meant for a certain audience. Main, meaning only meant for a certain... I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. If I upload this video, that means it probably wasn't terrible. So, we'll see. Um, I just like to explore other horse games. This is not a horse racing game. It's kind of just like a horse farm simulator. It's actually called Horse Farm. So, we'll see. Um, welcome to your new horse ranch. With your help, it will soon be a paradise for horses and riders alike. Okay. First, you'll need a stable of horses. Self-explanatory. Let's open the shop, which is down here. And let's go up here. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of um, that game on Facebook. It's like a, It was like a farming simulator. I just can't remember what it was called. Um... Do they want me to put it right here? Want me to put it? I guess anywhere, huh? Can I rotate it? Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of that location. Let's see. Here's the whole farm. Uh, you know what? That location is actually pretty cool. When people walk in, they can go ahead and um, you know visit the horses right there. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, move it back just one more if we can. And cool. Check. All right, should be done in three seconds. So I'm just gonna test this game out. Like I said, if you guys are seeing this video, that means the game wasn't terrible. All right, so stable is built. No beautiful stables. Now let's get a horse for them. Correct. Buy a horse for the stables. So you click on the stables and you click this icon, which is to add a horse. And you can we only buy one horse? Nab Strupper. <laughs> I guess that's the only horse we can buy. And you put it in the stable. Okay, pretty cool. Name, troll. No, we're not naming our horse troll. We're going to name our horse... Oreo is cliche. I'm pretty sure so many people have done that when looking at this horse. Dalmatian doesn't make sense because it's not a dog. Um, you know, Spots. Spots is cool. That That's not as cliche, right? Okay, so we got our first horse. We're level 2 now. 1,200. Um, we get 1,200 money. It's not English. It's not proper English, I should say. We get $1,200 in money. There we go. And 20 rubies. Now we've unlocked a barn and a rope fence. Pretty cool. All right. Okay, look. Your horse seems really comfortable in its new home, but I'm sure it'll be hungry and thirsty soon. Build a barn for it. Let's buy a barn. To the shopping cart. Go down to the second icon here. And wait, what is... I'm... Okay, I wanted to navigate on the other stuff, but they're just making me build the barn now. Uh, that should be good, right? Spacing wise? Let's see. No. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, well, hmm. Yeah, we'll p build the barn right here. I think that's cool. And the barn should be built in three, two, one. Barn is complete. Cool. Your horse must be thirsty. Produce a bucket of water in the barn. So you click on the barn and you click on this little house icon, excuse me, and you'll click this water icon and it should be done in a couple of seconds and check that. Now we got a bucket of water. If your horse wants water, you can now fulfill its wish. Um, click on the horse's bucket, click on the horse's thought bubble and we just uh, gave our horse some water. Okay, very self-explanatory. Interaction requests. Some wishes can only be met in certain buildings. If your horse is hungry, send it to the barn to get fed. So, I want to click on this icon, which is right above the horse with the two X's here. Click on that, and we can drive the horse to the barn, right? Um, oh, we drag it from here. So, you drag it from the bottom left a portion of your screen where the horse is actually at, and you drag it to the circle where the barn is, and boom. Horse is now in the barn and is eating. Want to take a closer look? Just zoom in. Yeah, I already figured that. Zoom in. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it so far. So we're level three now. We got uh, an additional twenty-six hundred dollars, aka two thousand six hundred, with twenty rubies. We've also unlocked. This is my mouse has died temporarily, or it was unplugged. I should say. We've unlocked a small lodge, a wooden bench, and a dark bench or dark beech tree. Cool. All right. I'm liking it so far. Just kind of curious to see what else this game has to offer. I'm expanding my horizons with gaming. 
a little bit. Our first guest. So if we want to afford more horses, we'll need to earn some money. The first guests are already lining up to vacation on your ranch. Cool. All right, so let's build a beautiful lodge for our guests. So we need to buy a lodge. So we'll go back down to the shopping cart here, or the basket, I should say. And we want to build the small lodge. So we drag that and we want to put it wherever we want our lodge to be. Um, what is a good location? I don't like it here because I feel like it blocks. It's very quick. I kind of like it being down here. I think this would be a pretty, yeah, it's far away from the rest of the farm, but I don't know what else we're going to do. So I don't like the idea of putting it, well, I guess putting it so close is not a terrible idea. Like we can move it like here. No, well, I guess we'll put it right there. That's fine. All right, check it off. Cool. And three, two, one should be done very soon. And it's done. Okay. So now we can welcome our first guest. Let's do it. Click on the reception by icon, which is up here at the top. And we have three guests. We have a little girl. We have a little boy and probably their father. Nice. We can drag the girl and we can place her in the place. And now we can go ahead and close this. And we're level four. We get an additional 3,500 dollars with 20 rubies we now have unlocked a snack shack a picnic table and blue flowers for decoration pretty nice okay uh snack shack all that fresh country air is making our guests hungry build a snack bar to sell some food fine with me let's go to the basket here let's click on this icon here with the uh the girl with the hat on her head and the ponytail and the snack shack drag and drop of course we should put this right next to the guest house so they don't have to go far to get their food and check it off very nice very nice and already uh, we have a guest going to the snack shack i like the snack shack i like the idea of that delicious now make a popsicle i'm sure your guests will love it make a popsicle you click on here click on the house icon and we want to create a popsicle all right pretty self-explanatory Tip, you can accelerate all productions with rubies. Here, I'll give you a few. Okay, cool. Um, accelerate the production. Let's click on that, use the rubies. And it looks like the production has been accelerated. All right, the popsicle is ready. Sell it to your hungry guests. We can use the money to decorate the ranch later. Sure thing. Okay, click on the guest speech bubble, which is right here at this uh, popsicle icon circle. So we will do that. That was tasty. Your guest is happy. All right. That's what we like to hear. Your ranch is getting pretty popular. Upgrade the lodge to make more room for guests. So lodge, which is this icon right here. Click on the other house icon to the upper right. And then we want to click on this plus one slot so we can obviously make more room. It'll cost $400. We have about a grand. So that's easy. And close. Great. Now you can house another guest in your lodge. Cool. Click on the bell icon and we'll take the little boy and we'll put him in the guest house now so now we can have two guests here and we'll probably need to continue to upgrade it to get more people howdy your ranch is coming along quite nicely why not stop by the quest board to see what needs to be done next all right the quest board is right here with uh this lady next to this jack-o-lantern scare well not really a scarecrow but kind of like a scarecrow i saw the exclamation point my goodness i saw it. they're like do you see the exclamation point it's like, yes, I see it, okay? I do see it. Don't insult my intelligence. All right, what's next? You'll find an overview of all your current challenges along with the rewards here. Send off a guest. Satisfy your first guest. Fulfill their wishes so they can return home with plenty of things to say. And then fulfill your horse's wish. Okay, so those are our three quests. So now we can kind of play a little bit. What? Oh, okay. Advertisement. Scared the crap out of me. I'm like, what, what just happened? <laughs> I, I didn't know if... Uh, the game crash or something uh exclusive bonus don't really care right now fulfill all your guests wishes so this kid wants food um can i move him to here oh yes i can i can move him here and he should eat and that's exactly what he wanted let's click on this and no i'm not buying any super starter packs uh now let's check on our horse how do you check on your horse's needs, I wonder? You click on the horse, and I guess we only have to do one task at a time, so 
Um, where's the other guest? Okay, is she hungry too? Appears like she might be. Uh, oh no, we don't want to buy another slot. Okay, that's fine. So, what do we do with her now? Can we, is this how you check your quest? Stable boy, we have completed the tutorial. Um, okay, that's some other stuff. What is this? Horse breeding is at level six. Okay, cool. I actually kind of like this. Yeah, it's definitely on the more childish side. And I don't want to, like I said, I'm not saying that in a derogatory way. Obviously, it's tailored towards a much younger audience. But I still think, as obviously, even as an older demographic, you can still enjoy this game if you love horses. So, um, you'll need to fulfill all their wishes. Okay, so that's how we send a guest happy. So, she wants to eat, which she should have space to do now. So, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop her in here. Okay, we got some money and a little bit more XP. He wants to eat now, too. Um, eventually. So hopefully we can get that done. After she's done. Because what else does he want? It just, it appears to be food. It literally just appears to be food. There's nothing else. It appears that, um, that person wants. So what else have we unlocked here? So, there's the picnic table. Cool. Wooden bench. Maybe they, do they want that, I wonder? Um... I don't want to put a picnic table yet. Let's do a... Can we do a wood bench? We can. Cool. Let's put a wooden bench. Um, <laughs> uh, let's actually turn this... Okay, we can only have it those two ways. Uh, we can put the wooden bench right here, I suppose. Actually, can we put it over here? Yeah, we can put it right over here. Well... Yeah, we can... Well... Yeah, we can put it right over here, between the, um, the horse's stable and the farm. That might be a nice site for people to kind of chill. Okay, so it appears he's hungry now. Golly, you kids are hungry, man. You have, like, bottomless pits. Uh, okay, the horse wants water, so we'll go ahead and uh, craft that for him. And we can unlock another slot, and uh, we won't do that now. Horse wants water, and that'll be done in about 25 seconds. And there's trash. Okay, we need to pick that up. And more trash. Now who's leaving trash? The only they've been the only kids here, and I swear I see trash everywhere. How disgusting! Who taught you how not to clean up after yourself? Terrible parenting, if you ask me. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Now how do we? Ch Let's go back to the quest board. Can we check? Uh, we still haven't gotten there yet. So we still need to send our guests home happy, and water should be ready for the horse. Check and. Um, there we go. Okay, so here the horse to water. What else do we need to do to send them home happy? I'm kind of confused. Because all it ever says is freaking food. Like, now she's... Okay, he wants a popsicle. Okay, we'll craft a popsicle at the snack shack. She wants food. Um... I don't know, I guess we just have to keep fulfilling these meters until they are at the level where they are, where they consider themselves satisfied. Uh, I suppose. It's kind of, whatever. But like I said, I do like the, the, the overall kind of feel and vibe of this game, but really, I just, I can't remember. Please, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Comment section below. Tell me the game on Facebook. So you have, it was like a, really a farm simulator. I don't even know if it still exists, but it was really fun. It was actually really, really fun. Okay, horse wants water again. Thirsty horse, thirsty horse. You want your popsicle. Can I give you your popsicle now? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do quite a bit to make them satisfied. Can we upgrade this, uh, the guest house so we can have more people in here? Let's see. Uh, he wants another popsicle? Or did I just craft another one? No, he wants another popsicle. My goodness. Okay, time flies. Your first guest is ready to leave. Click on their speech bubble to collect your tip. And confirm departure. That should be it, right? And that is a successful quest. Okay, so you just kind of have to continue to satisfy their needs until they're ready to leave. Fantastic. You can complete your first test with flying colors. Collect your reward at the uh, quest board. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay. Um, you can expand your building's inventories when they no longer provide sufficient storage space. Of course, um, upgrade the snack shack. How do we do that? <laughs> um, click on it. And the wrench icon. How do we upgrade? We need more boxes. 
just pick up this trash. This kid's still not ready to leave yet, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and put you there. Clean up, ring the bell, and we can add another guest in a, about a minute and a half. Ready to uh, give this horse its water. There you go. And we need to upgrade this. What do we need? Just boxes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, can I put another guest here? No, I can't. We already have two. Or okay, I can't put one. Okay, cool. So I didn't even know I could put the other guest here. You're hungry too. Can I put you there? I don't think so, because we only have space for one guest to be here at a time. How do you upgrade? Um, we're gonna lock another slot. We can have two guests there, but I don't want to waste the rubies on that. Ah, uh, don't forget to make popsicles. Okay, okay. My goodness, so demanding. I don't know how we get cardboard boxes. I have no idea, genuinely. So I'm a little com uh, confused as far as that. But this kid is ready to leave, and that's another satisfied guest. All right, very cool. More trash. My goodness, these people are so dirty. Do they just not pick up after themselves at all? <laughs> Okay, the horse wants to go to the barn, so we'll go ahead and uh, send him over there. Or send her over there. I don't even know what gender the horse is. The horse is in the barn, eating. This guy's ready to eat. You can go ahead and go to the snack shock Alright, so we are getting things done. We filled our horse's wishes, three for three. And snack shack inventory. Upgrade the snack and so you can... Yeah, how do you upgrade the inventory? That's what I've been trying to do. I don't understand. I really don't understand how to upgrade the inventory. Is it just making more popsicles? I, I don't... Maybe it is? I don't know. I don't know how you upgrade the inventory. So I'm just going to continue to make more popsicles. Because I guess that's kind of how you do it. But like I said, I really do like this game. It's, it's a really fun, relaxing game. I like the overall aspect of obviously managing different things on your farm. And I'm assuming, obviously, this can grow really big. You can probably expand into other territories on the map, which would be really cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of curious. Now, what is this? This guy has a building that's not available yet. All right. So, um, another popsicle will be ready really soon. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else I'm really going to... When I say I don't know what else I'm going to do before I even let myself finish... Um, I don't think I need to record every aspect of this game. I think I need to progress a little bit further and probably come back. The busier your ranch is, the more goods you'll need in stock. Make sure to upgrade respective buildings' inventories. How do you do that? Finally, yes. Click on the building icon. And, okay. There we go. So, I guess when we craft a certain number of snacks, we can upgrade our inventory eventually. So, now we need to make another popsicle. And if we do that, then we should be able to upgrade it uh, again. Perfect. So this guy is hungry. We'll go ahead and send you over to the snack shack. More trash because people are just freaking filthy disgusting. Um, this guest only has three things she wants completed. So I like this. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys think this is a game you would get into. But like I said, it's a fun uh, stress reliever and it's not too complicated. In fact, it's very simple. And I like a very simple, fun game. That's still something uh, in the niche of the category that I like, which is obviously horses and just kind of having a horse farm. Now I'll be interested in getting more different variety of horses. I think you can also participate in events. You know, this game also reminds me of, it reminds me of, it has a little bit of a Sims element to it, as well as a, um, it's another game I can't think of that I play pretty frequently. I don't, it's not on my phone. Can't remember, but um, yeah, this game reminds me of a couple different games and a little bit of pocket stables I guess I should say too. It's a different element. This is also on Steam by the way It's completely free. So if you guys are interested make sure you download Steam on your PC or laptop and um, give this game a shot I'm really kind of enjoying it. So great. We can now upgrade our inventories fantastic and uh, More guests are checking in and more things to do so guys, I think on that note, so we're going to go ahead and call it here because like I said, it's um it's a little tedious right now and I don't want to say that in a bad way. I just mean it's kind of simple things. Make sure your guests are happy, feed them, make sure your horse is satisfied and kind of continue to do that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at so far. Obviously, there's going to be more to do. 
and we'll continue to do all this stuff. But I'm really liking it so far, and I'm just curious to see how far you can get in the game as well. I could always just watch a video and see how far somebody has gotten. I might do that just to see if it's worth it long term. Um, we're, we are doing our thing right now. We're almost at level 5. Let's actually wait till we get to level 5 here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, probably call it. Let's see. Pick up that trash. We can put another guest in here. Let's do the boy. And cool. And a horse ready to drink its water. There you go. Give you the popsicle. Or you're happy about that. And we should be at our next level very soon. We got another quest done. And that should be enough to get us to level five. Yeah. So we unlocked a round pen, pile of straw, and potted plants. $1,400 with 20 rubies. Very nice. This is actually really fun. Believe it or not, I'm actually enjoying myself. Because if I wasn't, you guys would be able to tell. Like I said, very easy. I like a simplistic game. I really don't like games that are complicated. I like games that are very simple. Okay, we can we can build a round pen. This must be for like entertainment, I would assume. Uh, let's go ahead and put the round pen right over here. I think that's a perfect location for it. And we can probably put our horses over here as well. Let's go ahead and complete that. The snack shack. Check that. Uh, kid wants to go over there. Horse wants to go to the barn to eat. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, any trash? No trash. Let's go ahead and get this completed to accelerate. Okay, now what is the round pen exactly? Giddy up, your guests would like to ride. Make it possible. Cool, so we can actually allow our guests to ride. Let's go ahead and uh, give the kid the first shot at riding the horse. So we'll put him... Okay, I, I dried them in there. And, okay, so it's a male. The sign is literally right there. And I'm like, I don't know if it's a male or a female. Come on, Eric, get it together. All right, so wrong building. Sorry. They had me looking at this building while the circle is there. That's cool. Make sure that the horses are perfectly attempt before you ride them. Okay, so we have that's something we have to be more aware of. We got another quest done. Fulfill the horse's wishes. Very nice. Um, she wants food. Let's go ahead and send her there. All right. This is really fun. This is actually really, really fun. I'm kind of excited to see what else we can get into. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the first impressions of this game, whether or not you think you'll give it a shot. Like I said, it's on Steam, and it's completely free. It's called Horse Farm or Horses Farm. So, go ahead and look it up. And um, if you guys do decide to play it, let me know. If not, just let me know your overall impressions. Um, if this is not a game you would care to see on the channel, that's fine. I'll probably just put it on one of my other channels or just play it in my spare time. Uh, but I'm actually enjoying it. I think it has a pretty cool element to it of a couple different various games. And uh, it's about horses, man. I mean, we can't go wrong with horse games, right? It's not like there's 50... Well, there's a lot of them out there. But a lot of them are kind of like short, quick, like, flash games on, like, your internet browser. Like, if you go to a place like... I can't remember the website. Like, coolgames.com or something. I don't even know if that's an actual website. But if you go to a website like that, it has a whole bunch of, like, really, really simple Flash games where you just kind of do one thing. It's not progression. I like games like this where there's actual progression. Um, that's really fun. So, we're about to hit level 6 already. Man, we are pretty much getting through this thing. Breeding station unlocked and a wooden barrel. Yeah, definitely a lot going on here. Let's get one more guest in here. Uh, but guys, like I said, on that note, that will do it. Appreciate you guys' love and support, as always. But until next time, don't know which channel I uploaded this on. Probably Horse Racing Gamer, I would imagine. But anyways, this is Eric signing out. Until next time, hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya, and goodbye.